Hey guys, Razor Bean here. I'm back with what I believe is the uh, final chapter from episode one of Telltale's Batman series. And uh, curious to see what how my choices compare to others. That's always the most fun part of these. Fire and smoke could reportedly be seen from street level. Tonight, the Skyline Club, a high-rise mafia hangout in downtown Gotham, was the arena for a clash between the notorious Batman and alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone, who was found dangling over a 50-story drop. Bet Falcone loved that view. Though I'd say the crime boss getting his is well overdue, Falcone has slipped through the law's grasp for years, but after this dramatic arrest and evidence released by the GCPD's Lieutenant Gordon, Falcone's going away for a long, long time. And speaking of newly uncovered criminal dealings, this brings me to the story everyone is talking about, the Wayne family. For generations, the big W on the Wayne Enterprises Tower was a reassuring sight. You knew that there was something pure at the heart of Gotham, that this city, for all its faults, was built by good people. But with Thomas stress. and Martha's shining reputation called into question, we no longer have such assurances. And even worse, it seems the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. Gotham's greatest son, Bruce Wayne, seen here in the company of gangsters, may be just as crooked as his parents. In I his defense, Come on. Wayne fired back saying, Whoever fabricated these lies about my family, they will get what they deserve. Understood. In a world where the Waynes, our golden family, are corrupt, who are we left with? Who can Gothamites look up to? The supposed hero Batman? Only time will tell. Meanwhile, we'll keep digging for the truth. But the prominent feeling throughout Gotham is that the Waynes' time in the sun is ending. entire cave master bruce everything i built i created all of this because i didn't want any more innocent people to die if falcone's telling the truth about my parents then what the hell did we do this for bruce i what have you been hiding from me look on alfred alfred Are you kidding me? That's all there was to... Okay, I'm going to be downloading episode 2 then. I think the whole series is free on PSN at the moment. I was not expecting the last chapter to just be one cutscene. Yeah, I stuck up for Harvey. Most of us did. to control the story, which probably bit me in the butt. Ooh, that is a close one. So, it says I didn't break his arm, even though there was definitely a crack in sound. Be the dad to Gordon, because that was definitely the right choice. I still don't think Vicky's making it through this. Showed restraint on Falcone because this is Batman. I don't know what the share choices button is. Does that show it on Twitter or something? I'll have to check that out later on. There was a cutscene after this, like there was for the Guardians. If there is, I know it's going to happen after the credits, so I don't want to accidentally press anything. <laughs> yeah, 
if I know it would be that short, I would just continue it last night while I was recording. <laughs> it didn't even give me a choice there, which surprised me. I thought there would at least be something there. I mean, it's a logical thing to put there, it's just I wasn't expecting it to be that way. I'm actually surprised I was in the majority on every single one here. So there would be at least one where I, where I was off. So I like the quick, not quite ace the bad hound. <laughs> I guess there wasn't anything there. Um, don't know what you want me to do. I'm pressing literally every button. There's nothing here. I will save this, download episode two, and hope that my choices have saved. Okay, since I am not ending, start ending a video that just was, that was just a cutscene, I am going to start episode two here. Uh. I really should learn to stop putting down my controller when I'm playing th this game. Revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Together, we will change Gotham. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Your father knew which hands to shake. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. This is Selena. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Falcone's calling card. The chemicals. Where are they? We're all being played in, couldn't you? It's the 
wings. <laughs> well, the wings are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. <laughs> Oh, it looks like the choices did save correctly, so that's good. Apparently that uh, freezing at the end is a common glitch. I'll probably just do chapter one of this episode. I thought I might find you here. The news was upsetting for both of us. But you should see this. I know you come here for solitude, Bruce. More allegations about his ties to the underworld. This isn't going away. It's all so public and messy. Tell me all of this is a lie. I wish I could. There are no angels in Gotham, Bruce. Maybe there never were. No, play of gargoyles, though. He likes to perch on him. I've been dreading this day for nearly two decades. I, I hoped it would never come. Forget the papers. I want to hear it from you. The truth is, they were billionaires, Bruce. You can't amass that kind of wealth without making certain moral compromises. It's just not possible. That kind of money taints you. My money has never corrupted me. And I'm proud of you. But you're hardly the norm. Hill greased the wheels of politics. Falcone was the muscle. Thomas legitimized the whole enterprise with his name. Your father, Hamilton Hill, and Falcone, they were partners. That actually explains a lot. Nothing happened in Gotham without them knowing. You knew all that, and you never let on. You're behaving like I was part of the conspiracy. I want you to know I had my suitcases ready. I couldn't stand to be around your father anymore. But then they were killed, and you were all alone. And I just couldn't walk out the door. Everything I did, everything I've ever done, was out of love for you. I hope you can forgive me. How could I hold this against you? You're all I've got, Alfred. Thank you. I won't let you down again. I was hoping that would be the right choice. <laughs> I mean, I was hoping that would be the choice there. This is the first time I've been back here since that night. When the police called me to collect you, I thought they'd finally arrested your father. I couldn't believe a low-life thug like Joe Chill would have the audacity to rob and kill Thomas Wayne. He was simply too well-known. Too... too big. Yet, there it was. If my father was that deep in crime, he would have had enemies. Well, it's a fair assumption. You don't think. You always said it was a simple mugging. In 20 years, you've never wavered from that story. I can yeah, recall every now. moment of that night in vivid detail. But maybe that's wrong. Sometimes we block out things we don't want to face. Maybe there was some detail I overlooked. Investigation time. I want him standing here. 
right now. And what would the Batman do with his own parents' killer? The possibilities are frightening. I only want to ask him one question. Why? My parents could have given him anything. Why would he just shoot them? He was stabbed to death in prison. No one mourns for Joe Chill, Bruce. Sadly, he was mistaken. I just... I can't picture him as a criminal. Not the kind I deal with. In that moment, he was simply your father. Trying to choose as much uh, as Bruce would as possible here. And there's the theater itself. I love that movie. I saw it countless times at that theater. How long did it play there? Only when you wanted to see it, Bruce. Your mother arranged the special screenings personally. I never knew that. She was always so good to me. Where exactly does the memory end? With my father pleading. You don't have to do this. And the gun fires. And after that? Uh, there are considerable gaps in that recollection. Maybe. Do I really? Are you all right? It wasn't a mug. They were assassinated. And Carmine Falcone knows why. Okay, I'm going to do a bit more than just chapter one on this then. Getting you in to see Falcone like this? I don't have to tell you how many rules we're breaking. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm always here for you, but this could land us both in hot water. I pulled all the strings I had with the lieutenant. This better not come back to bite us. Look, I get that hard, okay? 
and it means a lot to me. I know it does, Bruce. It doesn't make it any easier. The last time we brushed shoulders with Falcone, the press made us pay. At least tell me what this is about. Look, I'm all for blind support. Trust me, you don't want to know. No, no, I do. That's why I'm asking. I don't ask questions I don't want to know the answers to. I'm sorry, Arby. It's better this way. Fine, fine, don't tell me. But I hope none of this comes back to bite us. I don't want headlines taking away from my debate with Hill. Gentlemen, like we finally put Falcone in his cage. Now, well, thanks to the information you gave me, Bruce, he won't ever get out. Whoa, I'm sorry. Uh, information? What information? Oh, well, I assumed you knew. I was going to contact your office first thing. Sorry, Harvey, I was going to tell you. Well, tell me what? Your friend here gave us a case that'll put Balcone away for life. A catalog of his entire criminal empire. Is that a fact? It's the reason I said yes to this unorthodox request. Well, nice job have bringing in Falcone. Yeah, that son of a bitch better not get off again. He's not getting off the hook, Rene. Not this time. Mr. Wayne, so Rene. Sergeant Rene Montoya. I just wanted to say, you know, some of us police support you, despite what the media is saying. Thanks, Sergeant. We're keeping Falcone in the infirmary. He's lucky he didn't get roughed up more. I could tell Batman wanted to kill him, but he held back. He cares about doing the right thing. Well, whoever he is behind that mask, I say Gotham's lucky to have him. Yeah, it's great to know he's out there watching over the city. All right, Falcone's That's inside. The best choice there. Say what you gotta say. We'll be out here. Wayne? You must have some clout. My own wife can't get in to see me. <laughs> Good thing I'll be out of here in a week. <laughs> we need to talk, Falcone. You weren't so eager the last time we met. But then, I knew you'd come around. Especially after the press got their teeth in you. Yeah, no surprise who <laughs> gave that out. You're your father's son. Yeah, that's right. Tommy and I were close. More than friends. More like cousins. Until you sent Joe Chill to kill him. Ah, so that's what this is really about, eh? The pup digging up a 20-year-old killer. Two killings, and they were never forgotten. You and me, we're practically family. I thought you'd have figured that out by now. Hey, I tried to get through to your dense party. Maybe I should have spelled it out. We are not family, Falcone. I'm nothing like you. If you're anything like Thomas Wayne, then we're not so different. Your father, Hill, and me, we ran this city. Still do. <coughs> Damn this pain. Can't think through it. Morphine's on the side there. Be a good boy and help Uncle Carmine out, huh? We're going to ease his pain because this is Batman. I mean, bad 40 years I keep my veins clean of any of that gunk. But you never forget the tender kiss. It'd be so easy to give me the whole vial, wouldn't it? Enough there to put an old dog down forever. Of course, you'd never know the whole story. How much of your parents do you have in you? I'm not a murderer. 
No, you're not. That's why you were kept in the dark. Much better, kid. Thank you. <laughs> Just you like that reminds me of your mother. Your father may have been the doctor, but Martha, she had the human touch. I think you got she more of her in you, to tell the truth. Well, I wouldn't know. You took her from me when I was nine years old. But you really think I hired Chill? Yes. Sure. I worked with Joe Chill from time to time. Put a button on someone, he'd take him out. But I never ordered that hit on your parents. So who you did? You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. Your parents learned that. <laughs> waiting for you in hell! What? The nerve aging. The bastard had to die. The nerve aging. Hands in the air! Stand down! Get a doctor! Secure this floor! No one gets in or out! Go! Go! Zoe definitely did not do that on her own. That was that nerve agent. We are in deep shit. I bought us some time, but not much. Or it's gonna get out, sooner or later. Why would she do something like this? We had Gotham's biggest crime lord in our grasp. I don't, I don't know. I hardly recognized her when she burst in. She was so different from the woman we met in the hall. <sighs> it's a disgrace. Another officer gone rogue. Another? It just doesn't make any sense. All oh, right, the last one. The one that She'd never do anything to hurt the department. Tony's case meant justice for a thousand unnamed victims. And now it is a PR disaster. How can I run against corruption when our own cops are redecorating the precinct with their prisoners' brains? Listen, we gotta get out in front of this. We gotta spin it as best we can. Issue a statement saying that we have the shooter in custody. Slow down, Harvey. We need the facts first. Uh, the simple fact is she walked in and shot him. Yeah, that's one Then we need the fact. complex facts, like how and why. Exactly. Lieutenant, uh, Mr. District Attorney, uh, Falcone's lawyers are here. Oh, Christ. I can delay them for a little while, but we still need answers. <sighs> Tell me if she says anything. I have to know why she did this. Ah. <sighs> Alfred, Falcone's been murdered. Good God! I'm looking into it, but I'll need access to the back computer for anything I find. Connection secured. Alfred, I'm gonna try and confirm some suspicions of mine. Alright, what do I have to do here? Okay. Well, I know that there was an odd thing on the mouth. Yeah, there's the veins. the veins. Still visible beneath her skin. And that looks like a cut. A fresh injection site. Mm, that doesn't look like blood. Alfred, I think I found the substance. Analyze and forward me the result. Mr. Wayne? What's going on? Oh, but I got this awful feeling something terrible happened. Sergeant, you have to think. What do you remember? Oh, God. Falcone. I was hoping it wasn't real. I believe you were drugged, Sergeant. 
I... It would explain a lot. Listen, you have to believe me. I talk big about hurting thugs like Falcone, but I would never, never betray the lieutenant. Oh, absolutely not. So foggy. I remember a sharp pain. There's an injection site on your neck. Then I just felt light, like I could do whatever I wanted. No guilt, no consequence. There was a voice in my ear insisting Falcone was gonna get off. And all I knew was that I had to stop that. I had to, no matter what. The reasons why I shouldn't, they were a million miles away. Like you were hypnotized? Uh, under some mind control? Not mind control, more like my impulse control was gone. My anger was the only thing that mattered. I remember a hand on my arm guiding me like a parent with a child the voice it was saying something about revolution oh, cobblepot said something similar i'm so sorry lieutenant i've let you down right, we stalled falcone's lawyers for now but they'll be back so how is she did she tell you anything yeah, hey, 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 don't worry about that now. I found evidence that she was drugged. A fresh injection site on her neck. I was out of my mind, Lieutenant. Please believe me. Hey, I do. Of course I do. Hey, get forensics in here. Now! She remembers a voice saying something about revolution. That's not much to go on. Now, if you're bringing forensics in, let's get Bruce out. Alfred, I gotta get back to the manor. I've got a lead on whoever's behind this. Bruce! Not Wh now. What are you doing here? My friends in the, in the GCPD have been telling stories about some kind of lockdown? Sorry, Vicky, I can't talk to the press. My lips are moving. Words are coming out. You know what I mean. Word is there were shots fired near where Falcone was being held. Know anything about that? I mean, you must have been back there when it happened. Always digging for a story, huh? So it's true? I didn't say that. Word is, you turned over enough dirt on Falcone to put him in Blackgate prison for life. A day after he showed up at your house. And now you're here. You can't afford to be associated with another scandal. I can keep your name out of whatever we print, but you need to give me something I can use. Yeah, that's not happening. Who fired the shots? A, a cop? I can tell by the way you're brushing me off that something happened. Please, get out of my way, Vicky. I'm in a hurry. Huh. Disappointing. Maybe you have more to do with this than I thought. Chapter save trophy. Oh, I don't see a save mark. Okay, I am going to end it there for now. <laughs> I can't believe that really, really short ending chapter <laughs> that had no choices whatsoever, which I'm not complaining about. It, it does add to the story, it's just that I wasn't expecting it. And then the short opening chapter, then, wow, this, this part here is, wow. Uh, ooh, I wonder if Renee has her girlfriend in this universe yet. Huh, is that... That could be bad for more than just Renee Montoya, then. Uh, anyways, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time, and have a great time wherever you may be. Bye, guys.